fine. How are you? Fine. And you? Uh, I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit dusty. I'm dirty. Yeah, I'm with the tired part, so I could really need some sleep. Yeah, and I definitely now want to enjoy a little bit of the fire pit here yes. because I didn't have enough fire on time outside here. D don't bring them on ideas. No fire is good, uh, actually. Actually, yes. yes. Yeah, it was an absolute awesome uh, event for me. I had a great time running around, seeing all the stuff, yes. what all the people bring here. All the things which were happening here, like um, I didn't have no time to see anything. My experience is more like, oh, wow, here's something, here's something, here's something. It's like it's, it's day, day two and a half or so. It's Sorry? Cur currently, it's like uh, day two, day two and a half. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, maybe not long enough, maybe I'm not, I need some clones of myself, something like that. Because all the workshops, projects, all the sessions, Thanks. talks, um, we had a full packed far plan, up far plan, the launch, it was amazing. Who was in the launch, by the way? Yes, quite a few hands, okay. Okay. <laughs> Who heard about the trick that in cold nights you go into the launch to warm up? More hands, yes. <laughs> because yes. That's the way, that was the best way to stay warm in the night. It was really, really cold. It was really cold. But then it got warmer, but no, now it's really warm. So it's like nothing in between. It was cold and then it was just hot. So the sweet spot was like 20 minutes in the morning before you just fell out of your tent. Yeah, and then you run around and see all the things and think like, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do this. I drove with the train. I yeah. drove with the train. You Run drove around. the train? No, not the train, but I drove with the train. Okay. Yes. Hackers on a train. Hackers on a train. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you run around here on this uh, huge area and we had like 230 villages, something like that, um, and every single village was bringing a shitload of stuff. <laughs> and kitchens. And kitchens. And kitchens. With incredible nice meals. I hope you had some of that. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they also brought pools. Oh. Did, ha, did, does anyone know how many pools we had on camp? Pardon? Ten? Ten or something? It yes, small ones. Okay, so there were multiple pools. Some of them heated. I was just for a short, short jump in one of the lakes. Yeah, I heard about that heated pool. Maybe that was also a good choice if you want, was we not in the launch, jump in a heated pool in the summer. Yeah, maybe in that cold night, probably. Probably. Mm. So I mean, if you run around and see all that, um, I was. Uh, heavily amazed by this community. Yes, it's and always it's always wonderful to see how people do stuff together, like the villages helping each other out and uh, new projects just emerging, and uh, new yeah cooperatives coming out of that camp from people who just met up because their tents were close together or something. It was really really t uh, wonderful to see that growing. Absolutely. On the other hand, there come some um, old helpful friends up. Uh, you hear probably that cows, e uh, the cows zone, the east uh, cows, was sending care packets to cows west. <laughs> <laughs> For food. <laughs> that, that was uh, special. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, and all these all this volunteers, I mean, um, I do a little bit of organization here, but I, every time on every event you met new people who are doing crazy stuff and all the organization teams getting bigger and bigger and every single uh, human is working on a part and making this event happen and I think this is worth a big applause for all. Yes. And all the 
the angels. You saw probably all the numbers in the infrastructure review. And if you didn't saw them, you maybe want to watch the infrastructure review afterwards because it's like impressive. Yes, and you can still uh, get into helping out for teardown, but we're not yet there. No, absolutely not, because um, one of the things on this camp and also on other events on this, of this style is um, I'm very fascinated about everybody has a different experience on that. I mean, we all work in some teams or angeling or uh, just presenting our own projects or stuff like that. Um, so everybody sees with different eyes these events. Um, yeah, so it's quite a little bit of a different camp for everyone here. So each of us experienced the same event, but different. So we can talk about the camp and we'll have like 5,000 different stories, 5,000 different adventures, 5,000 different wonderful ideas that came up and more. Absolutely. I mean, one of, one of my personal favorite experience was the junk dessert on day two. Did you have some? Uh, it was a bit of, of uh, sugary, so it could have been... A okay, but it was nice less. and creamy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And it's very good for bribing people. <laughs> yes. By the, way, by the way, one, one guy tried to bribe me yesterday to make some advertisement for his new business. Fehlkauf.biz, but I forgot the sticker. Oh, oh, come on. But I didn't say anything, so. Hmm. I only found hackersforfuture.de. Okay, you got some coffee for that, or? Jo? No, actually not. I just found this sticker, and I think Hackers for Future is a pretty cool idea. So since we have Fridays for Future, Scientists for Future, Parents for Future, Hackers for Future, come on. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, if you see what uh, uh, groups here wear on all that. And reusable straws. Reusable straw. Yes. Who has one with him? Who has one? Who has one? Usable straw? Nobody. 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 One reusable <clears throat> straw at the 5,000 people camp? Interesting. Okay, fine. Um, so you better, um, we're visiting one of these uh, sustainability uh, groups. There were very nice discussions um, about freedom um, and also like you probably saw the Solar Einsatzleitung. Um, they had a truck on the uh, center with some uh, solar panels on top and were charging your phones for free. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, but it's not everything uh, was connected uh, to the solar power. We all had, uh, or we had a lot of blinking stuff everywhere. So the whole camp was gleaming at night and it was so pretty with the fairy dust and the palm tree and the unicorn called Olga at What's the, the palm name, tree. Olga? Olga. Uh, Olga. Okay. I, I think she'll come to, to Congress. Yeah, so this was really wonderful. If it's fireproof B1, we need to check it. <laughs> we'll check about that. <laughs> pro pro uh, probably with uh, with a hexen. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. B1. <laughs> I know. Yeah. The first B1 fireproof fire, uh, fire pit in the world. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, the blinking stuff, um, there were one very specific position uh, when you came from the, uh, from the flipper area. Who, who, was, who was playing flipper in the casino? Lots of hands, nice. okay. Nice. When you came outside, uh, outside from the flipper area, there was one specific point where you had a view to the rocket, the palm tree, um, the bugger. <laughs> uh, the construction vehicle. Yeah, was something the one. like that. And the light show from the um, was was just oh. behind the the rocket. So you had like a really huge, a huge, very impressive light installation. Yeah. Uh, by the way, light installation. Uh, who had seen the light installation outside here at tent one? 
Laser show. Yeah. We got lasers. We got big fucking lasers. Yes. Big lasers. And that was an awesome show outside. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much uh, fitting to the Fluchtwege Freiheiten um, wall over there, yes. Who, 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 saw, who saw the very big sign with uh, keep rescue ways free? Thank you. Please. Yeah. Keep this ways free. <laughs> On the other hand, there were crazy signs everywhere. Um, my personal favorite was um, at the cashless entrance. Um, I think it was on day minus one or something like that. A caravan was trying to turn around and he drove on it. And now we have signs there, C3 think, uh, sinkhole. <laughs> <laughs> Needed some time to get the caravan out of it. Yeah. And installations. Um, I mean, we are sitting here now at a fire pit. There was one guy with a hat poofing fire. That was not B1. That was not B1, true. But it was okay. The firefighter said it was fine. Okay. That's we had good for me. We had a request on, uh, uh, beforehand if so, uh, somebody wanted to bring a um, propane gaze poofer trike to cycle around that on the campground. Is that guy here? I want to talk to you. <laughs> nah, no. damn. <laughs> yeah, that's so many awesome projects. I think uh, I haven't seen like 10% of what was there. Definitely not. I mean, we can talk about a lot of uh, things we found here. Um, there was one pretty impressive thing. Uh, one guy had an RFID reader with him. And he was just running around for 10 minutes because in a lot of new bought stuff are RFID tags. And he found like 155 uh, single RFID tags in 10 minutes. And now he knows all the products you were buying new and come to here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yes, applause. <laughs> um, have you seen the complaint office? Oh, one Which of them. one? I think there were three. Uh, I saw at least two. Which ones? I saw the purple bar. <laughs> at, at the three-headed monkey, there was a bar with a window in. And also, they had some um, from, the, uh, from the trees to throw to each other. So <laughs> if you were angry, you could... Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and this uh, bureaucracy from uh, Austria. Yes. The Salzamt. Salzamt, yeah. Which one was the third one? Third one was at the Hexen. Ah, uh, uh, the Enger Exchange Point, yeah. Enger Exchange Point, yes. Uh, I think uh, the Enger the Exchange Point and the one, uh, the Pöbel Bar, they brought all their complaints uh, to the Salzamt. And when you put uh, your complaint form at the Salzamt in, in, that, um, in that box, mm -hmm. there was a shredder inside. <laughs> And uh, Bureaucracy. The, re the result is there. <laughs> Lots hmm. of complaints. Who wants some complaints? <laughs> yeah, the complaints are not B1. Sorry. Uh, I think we someone can try tried, that maybe. tried to bribe them. Oh, no, it's not working. <laughs> Someone tried to bribe the Salzamt and they, they put a, a five euro uh, note inside. It was shredded. <laughs> did, it, did they found it? They, I, I think they, they uh, glued it together. Pardon? Oh, they found okay. most of it. That's nice. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> For five euros, getting all these complaints. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um... But I think the best part of camp, or what I heard from many people, apart from all the projects and all the cool stuff that people brought, it's that camp got much more diverse. 
and much more political and that was a pretty good thing in all the uh, feedback uh, we collected before this talk. So a big thank you to all the ones who brought political uh, projects, who made um, ecological talks and, and workshops at the, um, at the Three-Headed Monkey, at the About Freedom um, cluster over there. It was pretty cool to see how the community developed their own voice and getting louder again. And this is, I think, a really, really cool thing. Thank you for all of yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah, and there's, um, there was often a big discussion about if the uh, CCC is uh, political. Yes, it is, but it's not uh, party political. Yeah. So we have a political interest. Also, you can see probably with the um, escape routes have to be free and um, human rights and um, also kind of the Antifa flag outside in this area here in Brandenburg, but I don't want to get into details but there. There was a field phone up there, so if, if someone visited the Antifa flag, uh, people who were able to climb up there, if not that that ever happened, but in case someone would have been up there, they could have phoned. Did you someone the field phone on the chimney? No one? Okay. It was working. I had yes. a call once up there. <laughs> I've not been up there. Me neither. I'm not the climbing person. And that, that's just the crazy stuff you all guys built up here. Yeah. Man, who has a field phone on a... How high it is? 40 meters, 50? I don't care. I don't know. Up on a chimney. Crazy. Freaking high. Yeah. Just beside the, um, the antenna, the Wi-Fi connection, I saw it in infra infrastructure review before. I mean, 57, uh, 57 kilometers to Berlin, air gap. 400 megabit per second. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Um. On, on the political side, um, you've been to Millie Ways once. Uh, sh yes, for a pretty short time, but yes, I have been up there. Okay, pro tip for next time, they, they have whiskey leaks. Fear in whiskey? Mm -hmm. I heard about that, yeah. Okay, but they had another very nice, um, nice thing called uh, Mail to the Jail, where they're yeah. organizing, emailing um, people, uh, humans sitting in jails for very interesting reasons. Oh, the post office is here. Hey, what can I do for you? Urgent delivery for you. Oh, we have urgent delivery here. What is it? Oh. Yes, I can, you can note it as received. Okay. Do you need a signing or something no, like that? No, okay. no bi-directional carriage post, so it's just uh, received. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> um, what do we have here? We have a, um, we have a small statement about, uh, from this mail to the jail system. Um, I'm reading it. Hi, Camp. My name is Ola Bini. I'm currently in the last 10 days of investigation for unspecific attacks against the integrity of computer systems here in Ecuador. Who knows the case, Ola Bini? Quite a few hands, okay. Quite a few hands. Here's a guy um, who was um, doing, had friendships with Julian Assange, uh, with Julian Assange and is now in, um, in Ecuador sitting in jail under very um, strange circumstances. He followed. Uh, the investigation seemed to be founded on two things. My friendship with Julian Assange and the fact that I have many pieces of technology in my possession. During 130 days of investigation, not a single incrementing piece of evidence has been found. Last week, a picture was uh, circulated that was claimed to be irrefutable proof that I had entered the computer systems of the Ecuadorian telephone and network provider CNT. The picture, in fact, showed the opposite, that I never entered nor tried to enter and that I sent the picture to try to get the hole fixed. There are many dangers facing technologies these days. 
The fundamental lack of understanding how computers work is a big part of this, but also the persecution of people that work on digital human rights. We all need to continue um, pushing forward, not allowing these kinds of attacks against our community to continue. Ecuador, and my case, is more extreme than in many other places. But I will set a precedent that other countries will use if we let them. I wish I was there, having these conversations with you in person. I wish I could come to Congress in four months and see you all. But it's very unlikely Ecuador will let me go. So I send you my greetings from here. Continue the fight. It's, it's crucial for us in our community to take care about each other. And there are enough uh, people who get in real trouble because they just found out some security holes and try to get in contact with manufacturers or governments. Um, if you want to help um, Olabini, just try to read for the case that you can make your own picture of it. And uh, you can tweet about uh, that with uh, hashtag free or f uh, follow their account free Olabini. I invite you to do that. You know, there are many people here um, doing their political work or doing their part in whatever project came out of Tuvat and other big movements um, that yeah, spring from our community. One of those people I met yesterday in the evening and he told me, um, here at camp, I finally collected enough energy so I can work on all our projects again from tomorrow on. And I hope this is for every one of you, like at least a little part true, that you can take whatever yeah, you, you experienced here, you're part of the camp, take it home, have it inside you, and feed from it for the next month, for the next CCC events where we come together again. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm also always emotional at closing events. I don't know why I said yes to actually sit here and not there. <laughs> Maybe it helps this time. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the thing is always, well, there is a, uh, this saying that you have uh, the post-Congress syndrome. Uh, some people know. Um, it's when you get back into this normal world with our all-day problems, without any visions, with um, res reckless, respectless people running around, which are like probably minimized or not even here. Um, we minimized. Talked yeah, minimized, minimized. minimized. There are 5,000 people, you always have some... Not so excellent people. Yeah. But probably they can work on it and yeah. be more excellent the next time. Um, not spraying um, graffitis on rented tents. For example. Um, honestly, whoever this was might want to take a step back and think about his life. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, he has a bit of time uh, while uh, hacking on his uh, card I.O., so maximized me or the better me, probably. Maybe someone wants to write an app for that. Uh, to get better on that, yeah, don't, don't, don't spray on tents. Um, vibrating a lot every night be before you get drunken. Uh, 
I hadn't so much time to get on the uh, on the batch, just like a little bit in between. But uh, uh, it looks like really amazing. Um, you 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 got it to actually showing the right time. <laughs> yes. Okay, I didn't manage that one. Yeah, don't reset it at the moment. Okay. <laughs> I'm it's pretty sure they will work on that because the rest won't uh, surprisingly smooth. Um, so even if you're not so much in, um, in this computer stuff, uh, this device is definitely one very great entrance into uh, this smart device, smart home, and also like metering yourself. Um, big applause for the cardio team because it's awesome. Yeah. It's just awesome. Um. You know, um, I'm quite out of my notes here, but I, I have think one more. You have one more. Yes, I have one more. Um, I'll get in touch with computers like mid '90s and um, playing Monkey Island. Um, was was really one of my favorite things, and uh, you probably saw that crazy pirate ship at the three-headed monkey village, and also like the whole theming. And there was one hidden gem. Um, you saw this boat standing before it. Some of them had a um, had a small thing which you can open, and then playing Monkey Island. I didn't see that. <laughs> I lost some time there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so many wonderful projects. So much glamour, so much blinking everywhere. I think we could go on for like um, 40 hours to tell you about all the cool things. And we couldn't do all of that because we didn't see any, not all of them. I think it's totally impossible to do that. Don't oh. get irritated, I'm hungry. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it getting fuzzy already? I think they need some more time, but um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, right, so many projects. Um, we would like, like, uh, no, it's not a... Uh, a silent minute for all of them, but a big applause for all the very cool stuff. And uh, I hope that we can all uh, probably see most of them at some point on Twitter or at uh, the next Congress or wherever and uh, have a bit more, yeah, more CCC in our lives than... Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you hacked that. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'm sitting outside at uh, fire pits often, so I know how to handle this for the easy way. Yeah, you fixed the bug there. Yeah, but I usually don't turn them off. Do you know somebody? Because I think it's time to go to bed now. Yeah, that would be nice. Someone oh. should should uh, yeah. Maybe we have some. That. Maybe we have some professionals for that. Hopefully. Turning off. Anyone? Fire. No professionals here turning off the fire. Um. Oh, I guess we get some help yeah. for that. This is pretty nice. Thank you very much. You're from Power, right? Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>